Hi, so this tutorial is like a part two to my Frosty Alpha Dragon Age Inquisition using helmet for accessories. Or sort of a part one if you haven't got a mesh ready. So this is where I was making circle circlet for each of the races. As you can see I've got collections for them. The elf, canary and dwarf female I did save as a separate blend file. But recently I started making it so the whole blend pile has each of them. This hasn't been edited yet to fit the elf male and the dwarf male. So I'm going to do that now. Just in case you haven't got a mesh ready for the Inquisitor Helm. So for the Inquisitor Helm, it has to have this name. But it has to have two meshes and that includes the under helm. But the under helm has to have vertices that are weighted to a bone. If you do not have this, it will not work important into frosty. So make sure you have this. So it's best to import the Inquisitor helm and delete the helm, but making sure to save the name. In this case, keeping the human female one from the first edit is working, but for example, an outfit, certain outfits need the exact name to work. For example, a prologue outfit, that needs the exact name for each of the races to work for each race. But in this case, Inquisitor Helm can work just with the standard human female or human male, whatever one you start with. Just making sure you have one that has under helm. I presume it works because on the under helm it says HM. I'm not sure if it's because of that, but in this case I think it is. So let's edit this. So I hide each of the helms to make it. Okay, let's actually unhide. I've actually already got it assigned, but so control left click on each of the lots. Clicking again on zero to make that the one that assigns the data. Control L and object data. That means all these will take any edits done to lot zero. But to make sure this stays lot one, I add the decimate modifier and then change it for lot one. I change it to 0 0.8, lot two 0 0.7, lot three 0 0.6, lot four 0 0.5. Okay, so let's just unhide these again. Or oh, hide them and edit. So I'm making two versions of this mod. One where I keep the middle bit the same size and one where I make it slightly smaller. Now I explained in my other video that for helmets and stuff, if they show the hair and that, it's best to keep it for the Inquisitor only, unless you make direct edits for Blackwall and that. But then it wouldn't work for the Inquisitor because then it'd be too big for the Inquisitor. So in cases like these, it's best to keep it just for the Inquisitor. Necklaces and stuff should be fine, I think, using for everyone. Okay, let's just edit again. Mm, scale on the Y, grab that on the Y. Okay, that looks good. Unhide them, select, unhide the skeleton, export, and I'll just explain something in a second because you might have noticed. So in most cases you can get away with using the skeleton from another race and just making sure to select the correct skeleton on import into Frosty. But if you want to be on the safe side, import the correct skeleton and in the modifier, change it to that skeleton. Or once you've imported your first mesh, so for mine was human female, I could go to my human female or canary female and click export and export with a skeleton I want to use. So we've done that. 
oh, let's impart it into elf male. So we have to sh on six short only modified. And close to underscore model mesh. Elf male. As you can see, it's not been edited yet because we've not imported the mesh. Human male, DA3, animation, humanoid. No, human male. Oh yeah, that's why it's on a red. <laughs> elf, adult male, elf male skeleton, import. And now it's been imported. And our next part, just in case you've not watched the previous tutorial, I've got a preset. And on export, I export it with meters. So, well, from Frosty. So with this, I have to export scale 0 0.01. So it imports into Frosty in the right size. And I'll do select objects. So it only exports the objects I've selected. And okay, so these are all the settings. If you want to look through them slower, just decrease the speed. I'm not sure if I'm going too fast or not. And then you'd export. And then you'd make it for the other races. For instance, this would be dwarf male import dwarf male. So if I wanted to use the dwarf male skeleton, I don't need to use the dwarf male body for the mesh but when I get the skeleton I go into let's say the elf male one shift and left click on all the lods shift D click drag by left clicking on hide and then there we've got the mesh hide the skeleton so we change that to skeleton 4 and select all of them, control L and modifiers. Now this does reset the decimate, but just go through each one, changing it again. And once done, import the mesh and then follow my previous tutorial. Thank you for watching. Bye.